right now on The Upside. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Mm, okay, it's not quite like that, <laughs> but you've got to see how this guy is bringing out the kid in all of us. Plus, on The Upside, we go to the ends of the earth for amazing stories, like the one behind these pictures and the man who took them. The Upside, hopping your way as we run toward the weekend. <laughs> Let's do it. It's time to look up. Let's talk about See, this. that's a great idea. To enjoy stories showing the brighter side of life. A catalyst for growth. Well, you don't say that every day. Showing good people doing great things. This is my purpose. Turning troubles into triumphs. What a creative solution. Everyday heroes rising up to inspire hope. Yeah! Right now on The Upside. Well, there's nothing like movie theater popcorn for this moose who wandered into a cinema in Alaska. Get this, that's a baby moose. Does not look quite wow. small to me. Wow. <laughs> Too cute. He hung out for about 10 minutes before being safely escorted out. Well, poor guy just wanted to catch a flick. <laughs> Here's my question. Did he use the butter machine? That's, that's what I, I want to know. Did he, did he get some so. that good? Of course, it's all natural. Uh, yes. <laughs> that good butter. Pure come on, butter. man. If you're going to do he it, do it right. He probably can't push the button. Somebody help him out. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the movie, sir. Uh, let's begin, as we always do, with stories from the very top of our feed. Tonight, the NFL draft will roll through rounds two and three. Last night, 31 young men and a lot of proud parents saw lifelong dreams come true. That really is the best part of the yes. draft. You just can see, like, I've made it, you know, and, and oh, it's awesome. Uh, we got, um, we all got to see a special wish granted, though, last night above the, the athletes when a 13-year-old cancer warrior named Kyle Stickles took over for the NFL committee and put us all in our feelings as he did it. Check it out. Thank you, Mr. Goodell. I'd also like to thank the NFL, the New York Jets, and the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Northeastern New York for giving me this opportunity tonight. Yeah! Atta boy. Let's get it. With the 15th pick, in the 2023 NFL Draft, the New York J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 select Will McDonald, linebacker, Iowa State. Let's go! Yeah! I'm getting the impression he's a Jets fan. Love it. Oh, Love man. the energy. Raw <laughs> energy. Look at that him go. Face. Love it. Here's the backstory. When he was just 11, Kyle was diagnosed with bone cancer in his left leg, and that took away his ability to walk. Well, last night, we saw the results of treatment and hard work and physical therapy. He literally stole that show. Uh, lots of big names, big contracts, you know, big bright spotlight last night. but. Kind of the star of the show was that. Guy I right there. loved yeah. it. I mean, honestly, he's got a future in that. He step out, step aside, NFL commissioner. <laughs> he got some competition. Go well done, Kyle. Great to see you up there doing your doing your thing. Love that so much. Our next story is going to celebrate now the journey of an amazing teacher who found himself a long way from home in San Diego. And take a look at what he brought back with him. These pictures are from Antarctica, and they were taken by photography teacher Justin Moody. He was selected to take part in a teacher fellowship program through National Geographic. This is an opportunity that most people will never have. One of the biggest ideas and concepts that I'm trying to convey to my students and, and help them learn about is just the core concept of exploration. This has absolutely made me a better teacher. Oh, stunning pictures. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Amazing. Well, he says he is now weaving polar science into his photography curriculum, and he's using the experience on top of that to encourage his students to push beyond doing what they're familiar with and instead stretch their limits. That's so cool. You can feel his passion and, you know, when you've got a passionate teacher that just oozes onto the students and they can really, you know, feel that and, and get more excited about being in class. Absolutely. Passion is contagious. Yes, Exhibit it is. A right there. Well, news out today for all of us looking to improve our heart health. The so-called DASH diet helps stop hypertension by taking an aim at sodium, salt, because that's such a huge factor in high blood pressure. Studies show it can actually lower your pressure as quickly as two weeks. So exactly what's on the menu, we'll tell you. It's fish, chicken, 
veggies, nuts, and fruits, things that are high in potassium, fiber, and protein. Also, the diet encourages swapping out salt for sodium-free spices and flavorings. Smart, you know what I mean? I mean, you yeah. gotta put down the chips and the french fries, oh, and, and I pasta. love it. I know, I know. The, oh. But hypertension can lead to a lot of other issues, so yeah. those simple things can make a big difference. All, so. Yeah, all the fresh food, all that stuff, gotta swap it out. I, I'm trying to start liking seafood. I know it's healthy for me. Really? But I, I'm, I'm such a baby. Don't like it. Oh, we got Some, Sometimes. Talk? It just depends. Shrimp? Maybe like coconut shrimp, sure. Because I'm five. Lobster, no. Mussels? Lobster, yes. Gallops. Mussels, no. No, I'm picky. I like I grew up on mac and cheese and chicken fingers, so <laughs> this is the problem. My three-year-old son <laughs> likes that. I get yeah, it. I get it. Me. I'll try to convert you. One item not on the Dash diet, but could be cooked up on a cheat day. Wendy's Chili. So it's got kind of a cult favorite following, right? It's now going to be available at the grocery store. The fast food chain just made the announcement. Wendy's history says the chili was born out of leftover hamburgers at the restaurant, mm. leading founder Dave Thomas to come up with a solution for not wasting the food. You'll be able to find the cans on shelves this spring. Okay. Love, love the backstory though. To yeah. not waste food. Let's take the, the unused hamburger and put it in the chili. That's smart. So, so that was smart. environmentally, you know, minded. Yes, yeah. I didn't even think about that. And I have another food confession. I've never tried Wendy's chili. Uh, it's pretty actually for fast food, it, it's actually not pretty bad. good. I'm a Wendy. I still like my favorite thing, Wendy's the frosty, but still, not not, yes. not bad. Try it. That I, and seafood. Uh, I know. I really I've got a list of yeah. things. Please help me. You get some homework after the show. <laughs> Well, a big honor coming next week for one of the brightest stars to ever grace this galaxy and a galaxy far, far away. The late, great Carrie Fisher will be honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The actress and author will have her star unveiled on May 4th, which is, of course, Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. It'll be located near her Star Wars co-star, Mark Hamill. Indeed. Oh, man, I, obviously Hollywood icon. Oh, right yes. there. Yes, I would have thought her star, like, she would have gotten that sooner. You would think. Sometimes it seems so She's late so to the epic. game. Right. Yeah. Fun fact, she doesn't like those buns, those Princess Leia buns. She, she actually... I bet after like wearing that. them for so long, it's like, okay, that's Enough. cutting off my head circulation <laughs> here, people. Oh, uh, All right, with that, everybody, time to bring you a few quick stories that are just fun to know. So here we go. And because the third Star Wars movie, Return of the Jedi, is back in theaters for one week, starting tonight, we're going to give you a few fun facts about Carrie. Now we start with her remarkable sense of humor and timing, which was on full display during a roast of Star Wars director George Lucas. And though amongst your many possessions you have owned my likeness, lo, all these years, so that every time I look in the mirror, I have to send you a check for a couple of bucks. <laughs> Well Speaking done. of Fisher's Princess Leia likeness, as Rob said, she didn't really like wearing her hair in those signature cinnamon buns, but that was her look. That was her signature, right? Everyone, knew, know. everyone knows that hairstyle. <laughs> she didn't like it. And we just talked, of course, about Carrie's wit, so fun to know. Hollywood actually called on her quite often to be what they call a script doctor on films like Sister Act and Mr. and Mrs. Smith, because she would kind of punch up the script and make it funnier. That's real that. talent. Yeah, that, that's where the, the magic happens. And finally, it's fun to know that John Belushi set her up on a blind date with his blues brother, Dan Aykroyd. Fisher went to Aykroyd's house for dinner, but things took a serious turn when Fisher started choking on a Brussels sprout. Aykroyd gave her the Heimlich maneuver to help dislodge the dangerous veggie. And the story's twists and turns include a failed engagement, and that end when Carrie married Paul Simon. Yes, the one and only Paul Simon. <laughs> <laughs> That's riveting. First date, choking on a Brussels sprout, <laughs> and then ended up with one of the great entertainers of all time. Wow, she had a, she had a really interesting yes. life. She really did on a, on a lot of levels. So yeah, we need a whole movie about just her life. <laughs> Biopic, please. Yes. Yes. Well, coming up, we'll show you how you can rent a realistic dinosaur at your next birthday party. All thanks to two brothers on a mission to bring history back to life. Just going around making people smile is just the best. It's, it, it really just warms your heart and it's dynamite. 